Hello, everyone. My name is Chen. I'm CEO of Sanflux Inc. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce you some of our work in quantum dot-based microED and microdisplays. As you may know, Meta's ribbon glass has been sold pretty well this year. It's estimated to reach more than 2 million units by the end of this year. So one of the major change we've seen now at the end market is that instead of having fully functional AR glasses to replace the smartphone we use every day, the AI smart glass or a smart glass that's similar to the form factor of the glass we wear every day, but with more functions, in, including AI, including taking pictures, including all the audio functions, can serve as an accessory to the phone and really bring value to the end customers. This is very similar trend to what we've seen in the early 2000s, where people start to change from button phones to the smartphones just because more value are added to their daily life. Similar thing also happened to the wired earbuds to the TWS earbuds. So we do think that the AI glass could be the fastest growing wearable devices in the next 10, 20 years. So as we know, the current AI glasses or the Meta's ribbon glass doesn't have a display, but adding a display has always been a dream for all these smart glasses, just because adding the display will bring two major benefits to it. On one end, we can communicate much faster just because we read much faster than speaking or listening to the speaking. The second one is the display can enable additional or enhance the function, especially when people try to commute with the AI terminal to get diagrams, to get guidance, to get navigation, translation, and all kinds of different functions. So what we've seen that from the end users or from the factories who are making all these smart glasses, what they want is a small micro display or a small display that doesn't add too much weight to the glasses, but also bring very high efficient and doesn't drain the battery that much. As you may know, there are different micro display solutions to the AI glasses or to the AR glasses. So what we've seen that as we all know that micro ED, because of its high brightness, high efficiency, and ultimately the easier way to produce together with the semiconductor production, it's the best option. But the problem is but for now, there's no product yet, especially the full color product that can serve all the requirements from the AI glasses. So what are the detailed requirements? As we've talked to a lot of end customers, what we've seen is on the display side, people really want a display that's bright, at least a half million nits, ideally over 1 million nits to work together with a waveguide, a size that's smaller than 0.4 cc, the smaller the better, because the eyeglasses that a customer wants will have the similar form factor with whatever they have every day. That would be the ideal. And then a high WPE, especially over 6%, to give a good battery life. And then the most challenging one for all of us here is the cost per unit below $25 each. So in this way, if we put two displays in an eyeglass, we add $50 uh, to a pair. So this doesn't really change the customer's purchasing decision too much. If we're charging too much on the displays, adding too much cost to it, then it'll be a hard sell for the end customers. So that brings the requirements on the AR display these days to a new level. Basically, people are focusing more on the portability, the efficiency, and the price, and less on the resolution and PPI as before. So we know there are different ways of doing the full color micro ED solutions, especially for the consumers. You know, the full color solution 